Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be looking at Duvon Easy 7's run through the Season 1 preliminaries, uh, Season 1 championship preliminaries in South America uh, held, hosted in Santiago, Chile. He is rocking Lanoon, Skarmory, Medichamp, Wigglytuff, Hypno, Swamper going against Fede 501st. Um, Lanoon versus Azumarill is a pretty good matchup for Lanoon. Those Shadow Claws generate a ton of energy, and uh, it has a super effective Grass Nod. No same type attack bonus on the Grass Nod, but still hits. Still will hit Azumarill for super hard. This matchup, if you're the Azumarill, you generally want to hit the lower energy charge move because Lanoon is a little squishy. And uh, yeah, you just want to land the, the Ice Beam or the Play Rough, whichever of the charge moves. So if you have Play Rough, Hydro Pump, obviously you want to do uh, Play Rough uh, instead of going all the way up to Hydro Pump, unless you think that they're not going to shield. But most people play this out by actually shielding their Lanoon. Let's see if he's going to get to... It was quite a few turns, probably Hydro Pump, maybe Play Rough. Okay, it is Hydro Pump, which is a great moveset. Hydro Pump, uh, and he's going to load up a little bit of energy. Unfortunately, does the Grass Knot into the Skarmory, uh, which is not good, because this and misses two bubbles along the way. And he doesn't really have a great switch in option. Um, so, yeah, not a great situation, to say the least. And going to nail this Thunder. Um, is going to do a lot of damage and going to force the Skarmory to actually use a charge move probably yeah there you go use a charge move or else uh, not only lose the Skarmory uh, but also uh, lose all the energy and, and switch advantage okay coming Wigglytuff that's interesting um, would have thought Medichamp might have been a better play uh, just because uh, building up the energy matters a little bit more it takes a really long time for Wigglytuff to get to a charge move, but if you can get to the charge move, it can mean that there's a lot of damage. Each charm does about six energy, so you need ten charms, which is which is forever in a day. And get nailed by Hydro Pump, and that's gonna one shot the Wigglytuff. And the May Champ is gonna be able to farm up against this Azumarill pretty well and KO it. Um, was thinking about doing the power-up punch, uh, but doesn't look like it was going to go through. So, going to hit the power-up punch against the Lantern. In a closed game scenario, even energy, even health, um, with a Lantern having Water Gun Hydro Pump, uh, this would favor Lantern, but given like how much energy this, uh, this Medichamp has built up and how much these counters are really building up, uh, this this lantern almost has no chance. A thunderbolt like would would do about half, but wouldn't KO. Um, so really needs to land uh, the hydro pump. And GG there, uh, well played. Even with that switch in mistake, uh, where it went into a grass knot, um, it still came out. Duvon was still able to come on top. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. He's going to go in with Wigglytuff, uh, Medichamp, and Lanoon. I'm not really sure what the play is for Wigglytuff. It kind of has like neutral matchups across the board. It loses hard to Skarmory. Um, okay, there you go. Going to go Wigglytuff versus Azumarill. You know, like even-ish matchup, especially... If he shields, can like if shields a hydro pump, can basically faint down the Azumarill. So let's see if it's a hydro pump or an ice beam. Decide to shield. Uh, it's a hydro pump, so really, really excellent, excellent, excellent uh, shield. And then let's see if this Azumarill decides to shield or it's going to just take the shield advantage. Uh, with uh, while losing the switch advantage. Okay, going to Ludicolo, which is an interesting situation. 
And hmm. In this particular matchup, I think Grass Knight is a better move than Thunder. They're both neutral. Um, switching into Lantern is also an interesting move. Uh, got the shield, but is going to have to shield again or take the full brunt of this Grass Knot. And misses, misses like two bubbles there. Um, Yeah, I don't know. If I was a lantern, I would, I would definitely try to faint down. Um, obviously count, but try to faint down because like you're kind of in a terrible situation. Could have potentially burned a shield um, or KO. Um, but this is obviously a very difficult and losing situation for uh, Fede. Yeah, I don't know, like, could have, like, mm, I think it would still end up losing, just because the Wigglytuff is a little bit too much health in the back end, but if it could have landed the, the Hydro Pump um, on the Lantern, obviously the Mage Champ would have a little bit more, uh, well, I don't, I don't know, mm. but GG uh, there, um, Duvon is successful in his first round now going up against dasher kun uh with hypno swamper sableye azumarill skarmory and victory bell um what do i what do i like on this team i like lanoon is pretty good um can beat swamper uh with shields up uh probably does pretty well against Sableye, especially with that normal typing. It's going to make the Shadow Claw damage neutral on the noon side and does go up against the shiny Swampert. Again, like um, Lanoon can tank Hydro Cannon, but, uh, but uh, Swampert cannot tank uh, Grass Knot, so this should favor the Lanoon. Obviously, Hydro Cannon and Mud Shot, both um, higher well higher energy generation than Shadow Claw, and um, lower energy cost than so forty versus fifty versus you know four versus four and a half. So gonna have to shield, but can the Hydro Cannon is a very good move, but it's unless it's hitting for like super effective against an average tankiness Pokemon, it like really has the ability to KO. So you'll see it'll probably do like sixty percent, maybe sixty six percent. Lunin's a little squishy. Oh, maybe a little more, but and these mud shots do absolutely no damage. And able to get to the grass knot to KO and then win switch advantage. You're gonna be able to do a little bit of chip damage, um, but you know, the energy generation it's debatable whether you want the energy generation or do you want so <laughs> the situations the switch advantage is huge. Let's see what's in the back. Sableye, yeah, yeah, this is, see, like, winning switch advantage uh, for Dasher uh, would have put him in a very, well, not a very favorable situation, more favorable situation, because uh, could have lined up Sableye to, to Skarmory, which is an okay matchup. I think Skarmory probably wins in no shields, um, and then, obviously, Victory Bell absolutely annihilates um Wigglytuff in the no shields and the, with even energy, so winning switch advantage was was everything uh, in in that particular matchup. That's why it's all about. And they each had like one Pokemon that was all about that that fast move damage. Um, obviously, the the Ice Beam uh, played into it. 
but if it could have landed the, you know, Sableye versus uh, Skarmory or Victory or like Victory Bell versus Wigglytuff, uh, and then switch, then land the Sableye versus Skarmory, you know, there's a chance that. Actually, I'm curious while while they're picking their team. actually wins I really should know this but I don't so Sableye actually wins and then no shields pretty comfortably no not, pretty comfortably is a debatable thing so anyways uh, Lanoon versus Victory Bell oh man what the heck is this Victory Bell doing it just stood there and uh, the Swamper is switching way way too late um, Gonna miss a few bubbles, but probably gonna get shielded anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, the sw and the lag on Dasher's side that is not necessarily not insignificant. Cause it takes about uh, seven turns, seven and a half turns. Uh, five air slashes, one and a half turn each to get to uh, sky attack, and then takes Swamper uh, five turns on the first one, and uh, four turns on the second one to get to Hydro Cannon. So, a little too late on the switch, a little bit of lag, but looks like these two are just going to play it out. And yeah, this, this Garmory should get to the charge move. Uh, we'll see if the shields go up. This will do a decent amount to Sableye, but it's not like a really devastating amount. And switches into charm. Oh man, that's nasty. You gotta switch. You gotta switch faster, Dasher. What are you doing? What are you doing? Especially with this, with this ice beam coming. Uh. Yeah, like almost needed an immediate switch uh, in order for it to, to make sense. Yeah, probably, oh man, that is a lot of lag. I know a lot of people, <laughs> yeah, that, that was not, uh, not, a, not immaterial amount of lag. But these two decide to play it out. Um, and, you know, he's up a shield as well, so it may not have bettered. Okay, let's go to round three uh this is game two uh game one um video was lost for some reason um going up against christo zun with vigoroff alolan muck tropius swamper hypno and skarmory interesting team two restricted picks being tropius and skarmory um Tropius pretty good against this team, probably. Uh, Lanoon, uh, really good pick against the Skarmory, but um, I think you need to land the bait. Yes, you need to land the bait because you're not you're not winning the charge move or the fast move damage. So you need to land the bait or like the un you need to. Basically, land an unshielded thunder, and then a grass knot afterwards. So, a uh, shielded grass knot decides to shield. Like this is a very bad situation for the Slinoon. Gonna be able to get to this. Uh, wow. Okay. Decide to farm a little bit. To be honest, because uh, it should be again uh, seven and a half turns to get to the let's see the shield comes up it does and gonna be able to farm a little bit and then ooh nice switch to skarmory well let's see if this pays off or hurts them uh way too slow on these switches man when people are too slow swamper is a counter to skarmory but kind of a soft counter uh, it's not like one, it's not like lantern where you can switch in really late, uh, and like that is a really bad situation. Um, gonna be able to potentially farm down this swamper. You want to be able to count? No, gonna have to go. 
under tap. Oh, he needed to under tap there. Oh, okay, well, maybe the Swamper didn't switch in too late. It was the appropriate amount. Uh, gonna come back in with Hypno. A little dangerous, but was able to pull it out. Because of the way the energy is generated, like. Oh, okay. What does he have in the back there? He's so scared to use. He's gonna go Tropius. Oh man, this is a bad situation for. I like the Tropius you, against, uh, against his team. Obviously, you have to be careful with Skarmory, but. But these Shadow Balls are not going to be enough. And he's going to definitely be able to Leaf Plate him down. So, yeah, yeah, not. Um, I, I, it, it, Christo could have, could have just came in with um, Tropius, to be honest, um, instead of it probably still one of that matchup. Well, I guess like Skarmory is a little safer against him now than uh, than Lanoon with Thunder. So favor. Oh, switching to Medichamp, but this Swamper should be able to land a Hydro Cannon before departing. And the Hydro Cannon is going to do a pretty good amount. I expect to switch out to Tropius. No, Skarmory. Okay, this is a this is an okay one, especially since that Hydro Cannon damage went through. Because it's going to be able to basically farm down this uh, Medicham. Basically, one more Air Slash after this. But it did take a significant chunk of, the, of this... Uh, and then I expect the Scarborough to come back in. Oh, gonna come back with Lanoon. Maybe feels like he can farm energy better, but this Lanoon is gonna have to shield. And wouldn't you want the Lanoon to be matched up with the Swamper? Um, and I think, like, imagine that Lanoon beats, but you also, like, it gets. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That seemed like kind of a, a weird play. Okay, well, end up Thunder. Let's see if the shield comes out. This is going to be neutral. Oh, shield has come up. And the Sleep Blade is going to do a pretty decent chunk. The Lanoon is going to be able to survive it and needs... The more the shields are down, I think you just tank this Thunderbolt. I'm gonna switch out to Swamper. Wow. Okay, man, this is gonna be an interesting race, uh, but. Yeah, I guess this actually really favors the. Ooh, okay, kind of confusing uh, plays there. And it's gonna have to be a little strategic. Because wants to farm up. Oh, never mind. Doesn't want to farm up uh, anything at all, which is fine. Um, you know, this this uh, Tropius is at pretty low health. Um, but man, if this is an aerial ace, it's a leaf blade. Okay. Oh, man, it was probably worth it to farm up. To the aerial ace, uh, only does like six more damage or something like that. But um, you're only going to be able to get one charge move off versus this Skarmory. Um, 
it may not have mattered anyways because Lanoon was in the back. Really well played on Duvon's side, understanding and banking that energy, uh, knowing that Swampert, Spammy, really good with shields up or uh, at even energy, but when it has a sh energy disadvantage, uh, it is very difficult to, to overcome. Okay, move on to round number four against uh, David. Uh, using Azumarill, Hitmonchan, Alolan Muck, Altaria. So the two respective picks are Azumarill, Altaria, Hypno, and then Lapras. And I presume it's going to be Skullbash Lapras. So this is not a good matchup for Lunoon <laughs> at all. Uh, the Thunder is neutral as opposed to super effective. Uh, and as well, it loses the race to, to the charge move, which is interesting. And man, can Lanoon cannot take a hit at all. Just gonna try to chip away at this at this Altaria with any bit of damage it can do. I'm gonna switch out to Wigglytuff. Uh switch out to Muck. Oh, okay. Still like an okay-ish matchup for Wigglytuff. It's still gonna be able to charm away a ton of health. Uh, I expect no shields. And then I, oh my gosh, Jesus. Yeah, uh, really? Uh, maybe it wouldn't have survived. Oh man. Gutsy move, Duvon. Hit the charge move already. Oh wait, obviously. Uh, oh man. No, if this goes unshielded, that would be so devastating. Oh my gosh. No. And there's no way it's going to get to this. Uh, got to it, but. Wow. I think it would have been an uphill battle still. Um, but it definitely could have farmed down this Azumarill with. Uh, Oh, good shield. That would have been GG's for sure. Definitely could have farmed down uh, if it was play rough instead of ice beam. Uh, then would have set up really nicely with an energy advantage versus this Altaria that's already taken some damage. Wow, I think Jesus, David definitely would have lost. And it's going to get hydro pumped. This must be a hydro pump. Like, I don't know. I wasn't counting the energy, but uh, I don't see why you wouldn't. And then you're going to come in. I wouldn't. Oh, man. Wow. It's probably play rough hydro pump. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Okay. Jesus. No. <laughs> Duvon. That was definitely a winning matchup. Really gutsy move to shield and then play to win to faint down. Oh man, it's a split second decision, but even a play rough from Wigglytuff would have done a lot of damage. I had very low health, was acid sprayed, so like had to make a decision on the two and if the play rough would have went through, oh yeah, that that would have been Duvon's matchup for sure. Um leading with a lowland muck. Um, I'm going to switch into, mm, you know, I don't know. It's like okay-ish because Lanoon got a little bit of energy advantage. Going to be able to force a shield probably. Um, mm, I don't know if I actually would survive this charge move. I would probably go for the grass knot. Whoa, okay. Um, I wouldn't, don't shield. Don't shield. Don't shield. Okay. You should have went for the grass knot, but that's okay. Um, still okay position. I would have weighed the switch clock. Oh, wow. Oh, why? Why? No, Duvon, you were playing so well before. Why? Mm. Could have built some energy up with that Wigglytuff. Oh, man. Dragon Pulse. Now farm down for sure. I 
think like let's see what's in the back like if it's like hitmonchan or something azumarill azumarill with hydro pump which is not good but what do you what do you you want to end up in a no shield scenario with with muck i guess and oh man at this point in time you load up you have to shield whatever it comes in it's probably gonna be a play rough if david is rocking play rough yeah it is okay he's rocking play rough hydro pump it was kind of like predictable uh, I in the first match, so you just want any energy advantage you can get. Oh wow! Okay, you have to shield, and this is going to be a play rough again. And you just need this mug. But if you're this muck, you just, okay, I was like, you just faint down. And um doesn't look like, it's going to be very close. This acid spray is going to do a lot of damage, but the effect after the acid spray is going to be even more. I would not do the charge move. Don't do the charge move. No. No, because you're not going to get to a charge move on the Skarmory. Duvon, no. It's going to get dark pulsed. Ah, I think uh, Duvon definitely could have won both matches. Um, you know, these guys are like under a ton of pressure. Um, Duvon played really well in the first three matches. That fourth match, like when you're, when you're playing against people this tough, like, like any mistake you make is gonna cost you the match pretty much. Um, going up against uh, Pokemon John, June. Uh, uh, I'm probably brutal, brutally pronouncing that name, but that's okay. Um, with Swamper, uh, Azumarill, Ludicolo, Hypno, Skarmory, Vigoraw. Going with a Brick Break, I don't think that's the right answer. Um, and nor do I think switching here is the right answer either because this body slam is going to do a lot of damage. These yeah. going to come hypno. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is not a good matchup at all. Could have walked away with that. Vigoroth matchup with a shield advantage. Gonna ice punch. And this Hypno might try just to feign down completely. Nope. Uh, I would not shield. You know, as ice punch now, man. Come back. You know, either pick is okay. Um. This confusion damage is still doing a lot. Uh, might be a nice punch. Probably is a nice punch. Uh, I guess the Lanoon makes more sense. Gonna Grass Knot. Force a shield on this Vigoroth. And then switch out. For sure. Nice. Very nice play. By Duvon, banking that energy before switching out. So it ended up being advantageous. The thing is, like, you're gonna have to shield something, man. Like, oh, uh, brick is brick break. I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure body slam is better, but could be wrong. Did a whole video on this stuff. Uh, figure off. Maybe I'm wrong. Body Slam is definitely better. It does two more damage. Um, it would have done four more or six more. I missed if there's another Body Slam coming. Six more damage. Like, that would put it probably within, like, if it lands a Sky Attack, definitely those two Body Slams 
or three body slams were were the mistake. And like this Lanoon is at pretty low health as well. And not uh, yeah. The thing is like Azumarill probably could have tanked um the grass knot. How much does grass knot versus do versus Azum? Don't do the charge move, guys, when they have two shields up. Don't do it, don't do it. Grass knot does 86 damage. So it definitely could have tanked Oh, okay. Oh, try to bait. That's like the only really, really the play that made the most sense. Hmm, man, I don't know. Like each bubble does six damage, so each cycle does thirty-six. Like, well, two. I don't know. Ten, ten damage by not doing the charge moves. Um. And then ended up uh, maybe it wouldn't have mattered. Probably actually wouldn't have mattered. Uh, so I don't have game two on this one, but but uh, Duvon did win this series. So I assume that he won game two. Uh, now we're moving on to round six, game number one against Alpha George George um, with Skarmory, Lantern, Hypno, Venusaur, Venusaur, interesting pick, Vigoroth, and Swampert. Uh, Venusaur, like, pretty good play because it's very favorite match against Wigglytuff. Does it obviously have a poor matchup against, um, I'm not sure. Uh, well, let's see what, what, uh, charge move this Hypno has. It's definitely one of the punches. Thunder Punch? Thunder Punch. I actually think that... Let's see, Hypno, Thunder Punch, Shadow Ball versus Skarmory, I think. No, no, never mind, I'm wrong. Okay, Thunder Punch is definitely the way to go. Okay. Um, interesting, yeah, interesting switch in. Forty energy versus forty-five. Um, how's this match supposed to play out? This matchup in the one shield is favorable for him now, because it does get to the third thunder punch before. Okay, nice. It's good for the hypno at least. Wow. Okay, but down a shield. Uh, like, so presuming. Ew, wow, okay. Does this fellow Hypno have Shadow Ball? Almost for sure. And the Venusaur in the back, but he also has one other Pokemon, so curious why what he has in the back. Man, would have been potentially better off to bait the Thunder Punch and then hit another Thunder Punch? But that's such a big advantage right now. Got a shadow ball. Basically sacking this Venusaur. Because these confusions are doing a ton of damage, but able to get to the frenzy plant. What does he have in the back that would be so bad versus the Wow, okay, that's definitely a mistake. Uh, landing two. Well, here comes the charge move parade. I don't know, like, uh, two thunder punches would have been 72 damage, and then you kind of wait out the charge move um, from Skarmory. But still gonna win this. Yeah, very convincingly. So um, the bank to energy and the reserve of keeping the energy instead of wasting it. Uh, really, really good play by Duvon there. 
interesting moves on both sides. Um, do, do, do. Skarmory versus Lanoon. We know this. This Lanoon has to land the bait or land the thunder. Because it's going to be able to hit the sky attack predictably. Yeah, like on paper, it look like Lanoon looks like a good matchup versus Skarmory, but needs to nail the bait. Well, I guess it doesn't need to nail the bait. It's a CMP time, the second one. Yeah, 60 energy. It's going to get in one less Shadow Claw the second time around. No shield. And then gonna farm up this Lanoon. Mm, neither great matchups. Because this confusion resisted. Let's see what he decides to do. And then, oh, nice switch out. Whew, nice switch. But this Medichamp in the back is going to be a huge nightmare, but going to be able to land the Hydro Cannon. The thing in this situation, though, well, I, no, because it's shield up, so no shield. Whoa, gutsy move, gutsy move. Well, I guess that Skarmory did leave with uh, some energy in the back, so. But gonna be able to farm down, potentially. Well, let's see how close it is. After the Thunder Punch damage, I think. Ooh, nope, never mind. I was definitely wrong. Here comes the shield, but gonna be able to farm down. What else does he have in the back? Mm, Vigoroth would be terrible if he had it in the back. He has Hypno, which is okay. It's going to be a tough, really tough. Oh, man. They could just potentially... Uh, yeah, well, good under tap there. I was like, you can just thunder punch. Whoa, okay, I'm not sure this would. That's kind of a flex play, to be honest, because uh, this Hypno would have survived. I think it would have survived. Well, I don't know if it would have got to the. Okay, Hypno versus Hypno on Shadow Ball. I think it does about half. Yeah, it does about a little over half. But, you know, boost it up. Medicham with, if it got to the Ice Punch. Um, GG there. That was like really well played on Alpha side. And let's go. Gonna lead with Hypno, Skarmory, and um, uh, Swamper in the back. Swamper has a closer, not necessarily as effective. This is an interesting matchup. Actually, I'm assuming Swamper wins this particular matchup. Mm, it's pretty even. Shadow Ball would one shot the Swamper. And then in the one shield. No, yeah, you'd have to land the bait. <laughs> this is, yeah, well, you know, got the bait. Probably not gonna shield. Oh, it is gonna shield, okay. Likes this Hypno for later, I guess. Hmm. 
This doesn't KO though. Oh, well, okay. That was. Is that move necessary? Interesting move. Um, gonna switch out to Swamper. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Know. I don't think it puts into Hydro Cannon range, but it's gonna be able to faint now with fast moves after this. Hydro Cannon does sixty three. Well, now now it's in Hydro Cannon range for sure. After a little bit of farming, uh, Hydro Cannon does just over half. Up a shield. Swamper with some energy. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. Game three. Let's see. You know. Going to Thunder Punch. you burn the shield or do you save for the hydro cannon is it going to be able to land no nope, not able to land that second thunder punch and this is pretty much a wrap well, yeah because this swamper is definitely going to get fainted down by air slashes and is even if it lands this it still might not KO and it still has the confusion user in the back oh man beautiful switch I don't think it would have mattered because uh, confusion definitely would have KO'd and Alpha George had no choice because the that was a nice nice switch though to uh, end the match, but unnecessary because the confusion would have fainted down uh, the Swamper anyways. And that Sky Attack was unnecessary too. But GG, really well played. The Hydro Cannon definitely would have fainted down uh, the uh, Skarmory, at, especially at that health. And then one confusion, uh, much shot, does almost no damage, even though the Swamper, uh, the Hypno, has very little health. So, uh, Really well played, um, excellent high level play by Duvon. He definitely had a chance to win that round four match against a really excellent player in David, I believe from Mexico. Um, so if you guys enjoy this content or you guys want to see more season one championship content, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see everyone in the next video.